nigga. Me and Metro don't need help. Mill a pint to myself. Full of porn star to ATL. Louis Goyard belt. Five star hotels. Buy everything. Dev team, what is up, guys? Man, it's your boy Mikhail 2K. So today I have a special video for y'all guys today, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about the evolution of park rewards. Now I believe in this clip right here, I was in G-Size's playground slash neighborhood, and he was about to hit 99 overall. Okay. So what do you guys think is going to be the reward in NBA 2K19? You guys know that Mike Wang has said that there's going to be a lot of better rewards in NBA 2K19. So guys, what do you guys think is going to be in NBA 2K19, guys? Just like I said before, this is just an overview of the top rep rewards, guys. Okay, guys, so the first exciting top rep reward was in NBA 2K15. As you guys know, if you're familiar with NBA 2K15, the reward was a mascot at Legend 3. So right here, you guys are going to see Benny the Bull, which was a popular mascot in NBA 2K15 because in NBA 2K15, there were, there were some mascots, but there weren't as many mascots as there were in NBA 2K17 and um, NBA, 2K, um, NBA 2K16 as well, sorry. But guys, so, yeah guys, so Legend 3 was the top reward in NBA 2K15, that Red City Boy was the first Legend 3 in NBA 2K15, guys. And guys, I know you guys are upset about mascots just as much as I am, but it's sad to say that they're not in NBA 2K18, man. I'm so sad about them. NBA 2K16, the top rep would receive a Tiger and Got Next VIP. I forgot to mention the NBA 2K15, you got Got Next VIP as well. And everybody was really excited about that for someone who got top rep. If you were L5 and 16 or L3 and L3 and 15, you know that was extremely lit to have to have got next VIP. That was something really dope. You could take people off the spot, take people streets. And to me, guys, NBA 2K16 was the best park reward, bro. You got to walk around in the park with a tiger. Do you understand how fire that is, bro? You look like a straight boss in the park, bro. You look like a straight boss. You see me walking around with my tiger right now in this clip? Like, man, it was so fire, bro. Like, I just love my tiger so much. Shout out to my man Tito the Tiger. And the servers go down December 31st. Where I'm never going to be able to see Tito the Tiger ever again, guys. Ever again. And this is the top one for NBA 2K60, guys, once again. My, my tiger, I miss him to death. I'm going to miss my tiger, guys. The next top rep reward, which is in NBA 2K17, you guys get, you guys will get a jetpack and a ball walk. Now, a lot of people are upset about the fact that you got ball walks in NBA 2K17 after you hit Legend. And it was kind of trash, bro. I'm not going to hold you, but the jetpack was lit. You got that at Superstar 5. And uh, it was extremely dope. And uh, this game was really popping, bro. Especially for top reps, it was popping. Jetpacks were lit. Everything was lit, guys. You guys are going to see the jetpack once again. And, dude, like, this game was so fire, bro. The jetpack was fire. Everything about this game was pretty fire, in my opinion. And I feel like you need to get 17 hits better than get 2 to 18. Not gonna hold y'all, bro. But yeah, man, so you got the jetpack and the ball one. All right, guys, so now we're in NBA 2K18. The next top rep reward is 99 overall. Your player goes up to 99 overall. He gets his gold, his gold little emblem for 99 overall. It looks pretty dope. And um, in 2K18, you got to upgrade all your badges plus one. If they're gold, they go up to Hall of Fame. If they're silver, they go up to gold. And if they're bronze, they go up to silver. So, of course, G Size was the first 9 out overall on both consoles. Shout out to him. Hope he doesn't copyright me. G Size, please don't copyright me, bro. But anyway, guys, so 99 overall. Your player is supposedly supposed to turn into a god slash goat. Mike Wayne said himself, your player turns into a Jordan-like player in any type of build slash position he is when he hits 99 overall. And you guys also get a pair of custom shoes, Nike IDs, and I believe the first 299 overalls are the people that get the shoes. The first 10 with the first the first 1098 overalls got an NBA 2 NBA 2K TV interview. And it was low key rigged because not all every not every single 98 overall that was top 10 98 overalls got their interview. 
just got a little shout out in on NBA 2K TV. And a lot of guys thought it was pretty rigged. And some people thought that this game, it wasn't that good for the Park Award, guys. So, how do you guys feel about the Park Award? What Park Award was your favorite Park Award? I really got, I really got, I guys, I really want to know what your favorite Park Award is. Because, you know, Park Award is something that is really fun for top reps. And, you, of course, people that are top reps, you guys want to see what they get at the top rep. That's why you guys watch him. That's why you guys hit that sub button. Because you guys want to know what they get at the top rep for the reward. Because that's the most important, most important thing, guys. That is the most important thing. So, guys, what will be an NBA 2K19, guys? What will be an NBA 2K19? Will you get a card? Will mascots be back in the game? What, will you get a hoverboard? What will you get? Now that is the real question because Mike Wayne has told me that Park Awards will be better in NBA 2K18. So, DM me on Twitter and tell me what you guys want to see in NBA 2K19 as the Park Award. Let me know what some good Park Awards will be. Let me know what some better game features will be. Game features will be for NBA 2K19. Let me know in the comment section. And guys, what is your favorite park reward of all these 2Ks? What is your favorite one, guys? Let me know in the comment section, man. Dev Team, appreciate you guys for watching this video. Love y'all, Dev Team. We out this bit, man. Peace. <laughs>